Omega as a sort of fletching. I've got three bows here I'm going to review, and I'm going to give you the rundown on those bows and uh, each wood that's in each part of those bows. And uh, I just got them in today, and I'm going to do a shooting review on them tomorrow, but I'll tell you a secret. I did sneak outside and shoot them a little bit in the dark, and they shot great. Um, these bows are made by Brad Justice of Mena, Arkansas. And you can contact him at 870-389-6914. All these bows are uh, custom handmade bows, and uh, they're very nice. All right, we'll start with bow number one here. I'll give you the rundown on it and the woods that are in this. <coughs> I'm just going to tell you each part. Okay, this is a 42-pound bow, 64 inches long, and the riser is ash and rosewood. The, the belly of the bow is rosewood with clear glass over it, and the backing is black glass. The core is black locust, with the tips are rosewood and black glass. Sorry, that one's got a leather, leather cap on it. Very nice, and these bows are cut to center. Shoot very good. Shoot a little bit of a variety of spine of shafts through that one. Not having so much trouble. All right, we'll grab bow number two here. These bows have a really good feel in your hand, too. And they really feel good. <clears throat> this is a 52 pound bow, and the riser is pear, wood, and red oak. It's kind of a neat, now unique. I've not seen one made from pear before. But I shot this, and uh, this is a very, I think this is actually my favorite shooting bow of the group. Okay, the riser's pear, wood, and red oak. The belly is babinga. And the backing is stained ash. The core is black locust, and the tips are babinga and black glass. Check these out. This, this was a really good shooting bow. Okay, and the third bow here, last but not least, and this is probably the prettiest one. This is a 43 pound bow. And all these bows are 64 inches long. And the riser is zebra wood, walnut, and ash. The belly is stained curly hickory. I don't know if you guys can see that or not on the video. It is beautiful. It's curly hickory. They just put a light stain on it. Man, it is very, very pretty. And then the backing is black glass. The core is rock maple. And the tips are babinga and white glass. You can see that. And he makes these Flemish twist strings for all his bows. And again, they're all cut to center. Very good shooting bow. And uh, I'm, a, I'm six foot four, a true 30 inch draw. So I'll let you view the design. I'll pull a couple of these bows for you and you can just get a look at them. As you can tell, very smooth, not an ounce of stack on these bows. <clears throat> so let's see, what's this, 52 at 28, so what would that be about? 58 pounds, something like that, it's kind of 30 to 31 inch draw. file that bow at a full draw. Very nice bows. Feel very good in hand. Alright, this is Rick Fletching. Doing a bow review. We'll do a shooter review tomorrow. So I hope you guys like that. I'll see you on the internet.